Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Kwame Kilpatrick will not be released from prison early. The Office of Public Affairs says the Federal Bureau of Prisons reviewed and denied a request for home confinement for the former Detroit mayor. Last week, family friends were saying that Kilpatrick could be released because of the COVID-19 crisis. He remains behind bars at a federal correctional institution in Louisiana. He's serving a 28 year sentence for corruption while mayor of Detroit. All right now to the latest in the fight against the coronavirus. The U.S. is closing in on another grim milestone. Nearly 99,000 Americans have lost their lives to the virus. Now here in Michigan, 223 new cases were reported Tuesday, pushing the state's total of confirmed cases past 55,000. Another 26 deaths were reported. 5,266 Michiganders have died from COVID-19. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is now expanding COVID-19 testing. People who leave their homes for work or those who have symptoms can be tested without a doctor's note. And we're learning that two Metro Detroit malls will be reopening this week. Great Lakes Crossing Outlet in Auburn Hills and 12 Oaks Mall in Novi. Over the last few days, it's been hot, it's been humid, and we've been stuck in the, the same pattern, and that's why it's been hot each day. We've had highs in the, the mid-80s going back to Sunday, so 87 is the high Sunday, 85 on Monday, and 87 degrees yesterday. This is the pattern we're in, high pressure off the East Coast. This is over the last two days. So over the last 48 hours, we've seen these thunderstorms kind of uh, moving around this area of high pressure. So the storms are moving south to north. Most of the action has been over western and central Michigan. But as this whole pattern shifts a little farther east, then we start to tap into some of that energy across southeast Michigan. So later today, it'll be a slightly higher chance of rain than we've had over the last several days. So pop-up thunderstorms possible between 2 and 8 p.m. High temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s this afternoon. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.